You'd better grab your popcorn for today's video because it's going to be a long one. <laughs> you guys asked and I listened. So today we're going to review the Medray coat by Cezanne and the curated coat, making a small comparison. I'm going to try to cover everything you guys want to know, such as price, shipping, returns, and everything like fabric, fit, colors, everything you want to know. Just so you guys know, this video is not sponsored by either the curated or Cezanne. However, when you purchase one of these coats through my links, I do get a small commission. Thank you so much if you end up purchasing one of them, but never feel that you have to unless you're really willing to get one of these and you're already planning to do so. Before I actually start with the video, I wanted to tell you guys that I recently got this box from Cezanne and I only ordered two pieces, but they sent such a cute gift. They're slipping these into the boxes from orders this week and it's a makeup set some people got a lipstick but i got two items which i think was so cute it's a mascara in black i'm going to show you guys on the inside i think the packaging is so cute and the eyeliner which is a brown color so i'm actually wearing the eyeliner already i really like it's super smooth i'm sure they're going to start selling these very soon so I'm not sure if you guys will get one if you order right now, but just make sure you check that on the website. This is the mascara, so that's what they look like. I think it's so pretty and I'm very excited about seeing the full line. And in the box, I actually got two pieces. The Mark Coat in this gorgeous color. The green, which is just so pretty, so, so pretty. And I also got the Tomboy shirt, which I have not tried yet. So those videos, you know, will come soon. I promised you guys a wardrobe video and I'm working on that. So stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to do so. I'm going to be sharing a lot more every week. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back. And I want to thank you for watching this video today. We're going to be doing a comparison between some of my favorite wool coats and I'm going to tell you if it's worth or not. Of course, both of them, actually all three of them, are fantastic coats. I have them for a reason and I actually debated a lot before buying them because it's a really high price point and it's such an investment. So I really had to think about it a lot before spending this chunk of money on these coats. So I'm going to be telling you guys the price and everything, everything about them. The first piece is the Madre coat in this gorgeous color, dusty blue, vintage blue. It's absolutely stunning. The color is fantastic. I love it so much and that's the main reason I got. They have this available in four colors at the moment, the navy, vintage blue. They have a beautiful olive green, which is currently sold out, but I'm hoping it will be back soon and they also have the camel collar which is the safest color to have because it would just be great for pretty much any skin color but if you want to you know adventure you can definitely get one of these beautiful colors uh, Susan has other wool coats but I am reviewing this one today because it's the only one that compared to the the curated coats so in terms of color I think it's beautiful to my wardrobe it's actually pretty versatile because i do have a lot of dusty pieces i feel like i might have been a broom in my my last life because i just love everything dusty dusty pink it's the only kind of pink that i normally wear dusty blue dusty green i just love the toned down colors i just love them so this one is a hundred percent wool it's made in romania and as you can see it's double faced it's not lined so you have just wool everywhere there's no polyester there's no other material it's 100 percent wool i love the fit for this one i actually sized down so i was between my actual size and the next size down and i decided to go with a 34 or two uh just because i saw some reviews and i felt like it, it just felt a little bit too oversized and i didn't want it to be too oversized this size on me actually already looks oversized enough and I don't think I should have gone with my actual size. Although it really depends on what you like. I would say if you're in between sizes, just stick to your size if you want to layer and you want to put bulky uh, pieces underneath. 
but I'm really really happy with the 34 or 2 I think it suits me well it doesn't feel too long I am 5 foot 5 so you guys can see my measurements below and um, I think the fit is great I can close the coat fully without you know having a weird fit so for me the fit was really really great uh, I'm going to be comparing them and telling you guys what I think the differences are but in the meantime I just want to show you real quick some information about this one in case you're considering Madrid. so this one has belt loops loops on both sides and then you can just leave the belt there there are so many ways of wearing this you can just tie this on the back or you can simply tie on the front you can wear without the belt if you prefer or you can just leave it like this hanging which is what I normally do this one has a slit on the back so you guys will see on the mod shots that there is a slit here at the the end and I really like this I think I think it makes it flattering I love the fact that it has you know this beautiful color I think it's really beautiful and really flattering. We just really love this little structure here. I think it makes it more put together and doesn't feel much like a robe. A lot of people mentioned that this felt like a robe, but um, not on me, but on them. But honestly, I really like the fit and I love the slouchiness of it. I think it's beautiful. It has some weight to it, so I won't say this is a winter coat for like New York, which is where I am but depending on the weather you can easily wear this so I would say this is a great fall coat this is an amazing spring like early spring coat but for the super super cold days like you know below zero um, Celsius or like 32 Fahrenheit I think you might feel a little cold if you don't have the right items underneath so if you wear a thermal and you wear the right kind of knit like a merino wool cashmere I think you might be fine with a little below zero, but it really depends on how long you're staying outside, for if you're walking, if you're in the car, you know, that, that kind of thing. So I love it. I think it's warm enough for winter, but like I said, for the super cold days, I would just get my down jacket because I want to be, <laughs> I don't want to freeze, obviously. Um, but it's a fantastic coat. I am really happy with Medric. I think it's such an investment. We're gonna talk about price in a minute and I'm going to compare them so this one is um, right now four hundred eighty five dollars on you know in the United States so when you pay the taxes at least here in New York it comes up to five hundred twenty eight it's a lot of money for a coach although it's a hundred percent wool and you have to really think about how much you're going to wear I do think it's a big chunk of money so you have to really know if you're going to wear that enough you have to think of the cost per wear it's something that I always consider before spending a chunk of money on something especially clothes so what I feel about this it if it's worth it or not is when you look at your wardrobe and you might have maybe two or three pieces that you don't wear so much let's say from Cezanne and they cost a hundred something that would be about the money that you would spend here so if you think about that then you look at those three pieces that you barely wear and you look at a coach that you likely wear the entire season and you're going to enjoy for so many years then I would say it's totally worth it at least this is my opinion this is not a trendy coat it's not something that will be out of style next year or in the five next years or like in a decade I feel like this is a classic style and it will never go out of style so in my opinion it is really worth it in terms of color if you want to be safe and you want to wear the most I would go with something more neutral such as black or navy they don't have a black but the navy is closer the closest to black or the camel I think those colors would definitely be the safest ones however I really like the idea of having a blue coat here in New York everyone wears basically black the entire winter you do see sometimes brown and gray but that's it you don't see a lot of colors I'm not so into colors but that color specifically that color is just so beautiful so I don't see this everywhere and because of that I decided to go with the dusty blue as soon as I saw I was like why says that and then I was like I hope they don't make a green one <laughs> they made 
the mark coach but it's a different kind of coach we're gonna cover this one at another time so is it worth the investment for all the reasons that I mentioned yes I do think it's worth the investment we're gonna talk about the comparison in a minute the metric coach is available in size the smallest one they have is size 2 or 34 which is the one I got and it goes up to 14 which is really really nice now I want to talk about the the curated coach this one is in the color um, chocolate melange the curated is a brand that I recently discovered and I had to think about so much you know before getting this coat for the same reason for the price point so this one here in the United States retails for $440 at the at this exact moment when I bought it was 385 and then I paid $25 shipping which came up to a little bit higher than 400 I would say it's a really good price for a wool coat, especially for the quality that you're getting. So this one, it is really, really soft. By the way, the other one is really soft too. I think I forgot to mention that. It's extremely soft, but this one is like buttery soft. And it's just so, so, so beautiful. I absolutely love this color. I got mine in size large. It is not my usual size. I am normally small for coats, and they didn't have this <laughs> in small or medium and because i really wanted the coach i ended up getting the large i did see mod shots and i felt like the large wouldn't be too overwhelming on me and i i'm actually fine with the large i love the fact that it's so you know cocoon like and it's so cozy so i would say that for the curated my actual size for the classic coat is medium I think it's the perfect size for me and I'm going to be sharing with you guys the medium that I have in the color bone in a minute so make sure you stay there and this one in large is fine I would say the best size is medium but if you're in between sizes just size up because um, it will give you enough room to have something underneath without feeling too you know tight or anything now for the length you will see that this is a little bit long for me i again i'm not bothered by that but it's something that you should consider if you are on the petite side they have this from the three x's so extra 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 small to extra extra large so it's a really nice you know um size uh range i think it will cover like pretty much everybody so it's a really good thing i love that brands are doing that like right now it's something that they've been aware and i love it so in terms of composition this one says it's a 70 percent it says on the website 70 percent wool and 30 percent cashmere but when you look at the tag it actually says 90 percent wool and 10 percent cashmere so it's really soft if you compare this to the medric this one is thinner um, it's it's not thin to the point that won't keep you warm it definitely keeps you warm for sure but it's not as thick as Medric. Medric has definitely more structure compared to the curated and you guys will see that when I wear the coat you definitely see the difference in terms of structure now this one does come with the belt loop so this is the newest version they have the newest version comes with the belt loop the oldest version does not come with the belt loop so I'm gonna show you guys but the belt loop for them is just a thread so it's like a, a yeah just just thread it's just thread on the side and I'll show you guys on the mod shot and the inside it has two buttons that hold that thread so this thread sometimes it's not as strong and I feel like the the belt actually falls or just goes to the side it falls it falls a little bit weird once in a while but if you obviously if you have the coat tied on the front then you don't have that problem I don't feel like this is gonna come off I think it's pretty secure but I just wish the belt loop was actually made out of wool I think it would be nicer um, it comes with an extra piece of fabric so when I got mine it came with those two pieces of fabric it's the same wool and it comes with the thread on the side just in case you want to add your own belt loops with that I don't think I'm gonna make it but I'm definitely going to keep this because I don't want it to lose so 
I love this structure. I think this is so flattering. This color is everything for me, I have to say. They have the classic coat in five colors. They have one in bone, which I'm going to review. They have in camel, which is the safest color you could ever get. The chocolate melange, which is this one I have. I am crazy for this color. They have a charcoal, which is the dark gray, and they also have black. So I think they have a navy too, if I'm not wrong. So yeah, a bunch of colors to choose from, but they definitely have mostly neutrals compared to Cezanne. Cezanne has, you know, a little bit more, they're bold in terms of coloring. So not for the Medric, but they do have for the Johnson, for the Gym Coach in different colors like pink and um, the olive green. You know, that blue that I just got, the new Mark coat, which I really love. So definitely something to keep in mind depending on what colors you love. So the coat is really good. I already talked a bit about sizing. I'm going to compare them so you guys can see everything. For pricing, like I said, this one now retails for $440 in the US. However, the price for Europe is different and I'm going to cover that in another part of the video because I really want to do a comparison. So um, the coach is really good. I love it. I think it was totally worth the money. Like I said for Medric, it's something that you're going to wear for so many years and the quality is really impeccable. I have another wool coat from Theory which is an amazing brand for coats and it's really comparable. If you think of Maximara, Maximara that it's like a $3,000 coat this is really a steal. This is just such a good investment. I highly recommend. So the next coat is also from the Curated. It's the bone color. But one thing that I have to mention is that this is the old version. So the old version is more structured and it's also thicker. You can definitely feel a little bit of scratch. When it comes to the newest version, it's zero scratch. It's just the most comfortable thing. It feels like you're wearing a sweater. But the bone color, um, that I got from from Poshmark. I actually got this one for $240 or something. It was a really good price. The person showed me the receipt, everything, so I know it's original, it's the, the real thing. So in terms of fit, it's very similar, but that one I got in size medium, therefore it is a little bit more fitted. I do think my size is medium. It's the perfect size for me for that kind of coat for the classic coat for, from the curated. They do have other styles, the boyfriend, the London coat. However, those I haven't tried yet, so I can't talk much about it. I heard those are more true to size. When it comes to the classic coat, I would say size up because you don't want the sleeves to be too short and you don't want you know, this to be too fitted. It's not meant to be fitted. I love the oversized fit and it's, since it's a coat, you would definitely wear something underneath. So for that one, I would say size up. Um, if you're normally small, just get a medium, I would say. Um, now this one, the composition is different. The chocolate melange, which is the newest version, is 90% um, wool and 10% cashmere. This one is 70% wool and 30% cashmere. So this one's made in Mongolia. Um, and so is the chocolate melange. I think all their coats are made in Mongolia. They have, they're based in Australia, but they do have some shops in France. I think a few places in Europe, if I'm not wrong. And I found out that the price of these coats in Europe is different. So it's funny. I'm, we're, I'm gonna talk about the pricing in a minute. So let's just try to stick to this so I can do an actual comparison in the next topic. So is it worth? Yes, it is worth it. I think it's a beautiful coat. That color is more versatile than I thought. I saw a lot of people saying that they were having a hard time matching this with most of their clothes, but I don't feel like this is too hard to, to match. I think this will go with so many colors and it's a beautiful neutral. It does have a hint of pink, so it's not an ivory color. I'm going to compare for you guys so you can see, like if you look at this and this is the Lucas jumper, you can see that this is definitely more pink. It has a nice pink undertone. Same for a Nook jumper. Uh, a new cardigan so here's all three together you can see this is definitely more on the cool tone and it also has more pink into it which is really pretty it's not a pink coat i don't feel like it i definitely feel like more of a uh, kind of bone color <laughs> is how it's called like a bone color or maybe um 
how would you call this? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. What would you call that color? I think it's just really pretty. But definitely not on the ivory warm um, color. So keep that in mind. This would not go well with ivory in my opinion. It will go well with white, with gray, which, uh, with some blues and greens. Uh, with navy, with black, I would say. I've tried that with so many pieces already and I think it's really versatile. It didn't get dirty very easily. Um, that's one question I get all the time. Um, for wool coats, it's really hard to keep clean, I would say, especially because this is dry clean. You can't put this in the washing machine. At least they don't recommend. I've never tried. But it didn't get dirty very easily. So definitely worth the investment. I think it's a beautiful color and a beautiful fit. Again, this one compared to the new one, I do see some differences. So we're going to start now the topic of comparison. When it comes to those two, I would say the fit is pretty similar, but the oldest version is more structured than the newest version. So the newest version is buttery soft. The oldest version has some um, scratch to it. So if you're finding something on the pre-loved market, definitely get you know this answered by the seller. Ask the seller if it's the newer version or the old version because that will make a difference on the fit, like the structure and also the feel. So this one was in medium, this one in large, like both, but I would say my size is actually the medium. I have everything below if you guys want to check them out, see colors, and also to know my measurements. So in terms of price, so let's talk about price in Europe and in the United States. I cannot say about other countries, but if you guys want to check out, I'm leaving everything linked below so you can check and just convert to your own place like the the, the currency the measuring coat here in the US it retails for 485 dollars and I paid 528 because we add taxes from New York so over 500 dollars I just saw that this in Europe and my dear friend and follower Teresa she helped me understand a little bit of pricing she told me that the metric in Europe is actually 350 euros so it's a big, 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 big difference from the United States. Um, and the curated code is the opposite. So here it's cheaper than in Europe. So it's something to definitely keep in mind when it comes to pricing. For this design, you don't pay shipping and you also don't have to pay for return fees. However, I'm talking about the United States and Europe. I cannot say for other countries at the moment, but you can find out more on their website. But they curated, I had to pay $25 for the shipping and if you return, you have to pay for the return. So that's something also to keep in mind. They return for what I saw on the website, you have to return to China. So I don't know how much that would cost and I don't know how long it would take for the coach to get there. But it's something to get in mind if you are not sure about your size. In terms of fit, I would say that all three coats fit me really well and the sizing is completely different from each of them. The Madurik I actually size down, but you can definitely get your usual size, it will be fine. Just do not size up because it will be giant. I feel like most of the Cezanne coats I tried, I either got my usual size or a size down because they are already really um, oversized. So I got this in medium, I got this in large. Again, for the curated, my size is the medium, is the perfect size for me, at least for the classic coat. But again, they have other styles on the website, so you guys can check their size chart. And also they have a lot of information on Instagram, on their own profile, which you can see a lot of mod shots and try-ons with the, the cashmere sweaters and also the coats. So this is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give the thumbs up. Let me know which of these coats you like the most and which one you have or which one you're planning to buy. Again, this video is not sponsored, but when you guys buy through my links, I do get a small commission. So thank you so much if you end up doing so. And again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys uh, already follow me on Instagram, Mila New York. Would love to connect with you there. And if you have any questions, just make sure that you write this below and I'm gonna get back to you as soon as possible. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you next week. Bye!